Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing my TBR for the If You Got It, Read It Challenge for 2021, which is hosted by Megan and Sue, the Spine Breakers. And I did the If You Got It, Read It Challenge last year, and I got really close. I only had seven books left out of the 24 prompts, and I'm here to try again. And this is my year. I can feel it. So let me share with you what I chose for the prompts this year. Some of them, a lot of them are the same as last year and a few of the prompts have been changed up for this year. So let's get started. The first prompt is read a book you've had on your TBR in the past. I chose Faithless by Karen Slaughter. This is a series that I am trying to get through. And I've put this on two months TBRs and have not gotten to it yet, but it will happen. Um, this is book five in the Grant County series. Prompt two, read a book you've had forever but won't get rid of. I chose Me Talk Pretty One Day by David Sidaris. I have wanted to check out his writing, but not sure if this is quite my thing, but I want to find out before I get rid of this book. Read a book that is not a typical novel. I am going with a bind up of comics, a volume of comics. This is Rat Queens Volume 4. Love this series. Loved every single one of the first three, and I'm ready to move on to the fourth. Prompt four, read the longest book you own or a book over 500 pages. This is one I meant to read in 2020, but here's hoping for 2021. This is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, and it is huge, And but I know I really want to read this this year, so... Might as well put it on my TBR. This one is over 1,250 pages. Prompt five, read the shortest book you own or a book under 200 pages. I found this little guy, <laughs> Waiting Out Winter by Kelly Owen. Uh, and this seems very scary to me because this is about an apocalyptic plague of very tiny creatures. Is it flies? Is it spiders? Something to do with flies. Prop number six, read a borrowed book. I'm going to read Starship Troopers by Robert A. Heinlein. This is my husband's book and I went ahead and grabbed it off his shelf because I want to read this one. Prompt seven, read a cover by I recently picked this one up at the used bookstore, Universal Harvester by John Darnell. And I've heard not so great things about this horror novel, but I just love that cover, the iridescent awesomeness of it. Prompt eight, read a book that was recommended to you. That would be Disturb Not the Dream by Paula Trackman, and this was recommended to me by Richard from Are You Into Horror on my uh, mass market paperback bookshelf tour in the comments. Thank you, Richard. I'm going to read it. I have quite a few more from that recommendations from that video that I hope to get to this year as well. Number nine, read a book that rem reminds you of your favorite season. That's a new one. This is one I meant to read in 2020 and didn't get to. That is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This is a romance novel about at a wedding, everybody gets food poisoning except for the best man and the maid of honor who don't really like each other, but they're the only ones that can go on the honeymoon and they spend some time in Hawaii and, you know, love and stuff. 
prompt number 10, read a book from your most own genre. That would be horror, I believe. And I am definitely going to be reading this one in January. That's Whispers in the Dark by Laurel Hightower. This is my most anticipated read at the moment and can't wait to get to this one. Prompt 11, read a book you've had so long you don't remember what it is about. I came across this thriller the other day and I had no idea what this one is about. So yeah, I got this in uh, book of the month a long time ago and I'm not sure. Lies She Told by Kate Hallahan and I do like that cover. It's very striking and that's probably why I picked it, but I don't know if I ever knew what it was about. Prompt 12, read a book by one of your favorite authors. This year I'm going with Rochelle Mead. I have this series to start by her and this is the first, The Glittering Court. I love the Vampire Academy series as well as the Bloodline series and I also read an adult urban fantasy romance type series from her that I really really enjoyed. So. Yeah, let's try another one. Prompt 13, read a book by an author you've never read before. I have a whole lot of those, but I decided to go with Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. Since this has been on my shelf forever and I've wanted to read it. Yeah, I just need that push to actually get it done. Prompt 14, read your most recently acquired book. I just had a haul the other day. This is one of the books and I'm thinking I'm gonna read it in February so I might as well choose this one. It's Bleeding Edge by Thomas Pynchon. Prompt 15, read a book from the decade you were born. That would be the 1980s. Oh yeah. I'm finally going to read Red Dragon by Thomas Harris. I'm so excited to read this. I cannot wait to get into this series featuring Hannibal Lecter. And this was published in 1981. So before I was born, but in the decade I was born. Prompt 16. Read a book from the last decade. I'm assuming that means the 2010s, 2010 to 2019 would be the last decade, but yeah. Um, I'm going with Human Acts by Han Kang. I love The Vegetarian and I have heard good things about this book as well. And this one is from 2017, I believe. Let me make sure. 2016. Okay. Prompt 17, read a nonfiction book. I am reading this one this month. It is Evicted, Poverty and Profit in the American City by Matthew Desmond. I've already started it and it is stories from different people in low income areas that are living in poverty and struggling to keep a roof over their head and utilities on and that sort of thing. As well as the perspective of some people that own those kinds of properties that they rent out. Prompt 18, read a book with a one word title and I had quite a few really good ones to choose from. I decided to go with the shortest and that is Rogue by Greg F. Gafoon. This is a horror book and I believe it is a possession story. So I'm excited to check that one out. Prompt 19, read a book you meant to read last year. I have a lot of them. Several of them are already on my TBR, but hmm. I have one that could work. How about The Black Prism by Brent Weeks? This is the first book in the Lightbringer series. 
It is a book I meant to read last year because it's one of the oldest books on my TBR and I am reading it this month. Prompt 20, randomly choose a book. So on my phone, I did a random number generator, one through 15 for each one of these shelves. And I got the number 11, which is very top shelf of the very, of the third bookshelf, which is my mass market paperback paranormal romances, sci-fis, and fantasies. Then I counted the number of books on the shelf. There were 47. So I did a random generator for one through 47 and I got 14. And the book that came up is Full Moon by Jim Butcher. This is the second book in the Dresden Files, so I am excited to check out more in this series. I really like the first one that I read last year. Oh, hey, good choice, random generator. Prompt 21, read a book that reminds you of someone. I chose Walk Away by Cory Doctorow because this is one of my husband's favorite authors. This is the book he chose for me to read and last year's if you got it read it challenge tbr that i never got to so now i'm going to it's gonna happen next read a unhyped or underhyped book i'm going with a local author this is made in a very small press pretty much self-published i believe and that's mike baron banshees this is a horror novel featuring a heavy metal band. There's some super, super creepy business going on on the back. It looks so amazingly awesome. And this is not something I've heard about anywhere, but when I talked to the author at a Comic-Con and bought his books. So yeah, I'm finally gonna pick this one up. It looks amazing. 23. Have someone else choose a book. And I had my husband come in, look at all the books on my shelves and his shelves and pick something that he thought I would like that he would like to read or has read or something, something he likes that he thinks I would like to. And he chose two for me, so I get to choose between these. The first one is Aliens graphic novel that I had on my shelf. This is the 30th anniversary version. This is a hardback, awesome cover. I mean, look at those sprayed edges. I mean, this is amazing. It is a black and white comic series. And I love Aliens. I would definitely enjoy giving this one a try. The other one he chose is Far Space by Jason Kent. This is by an author we met at a Comic-Con as well. So this is a another independently published book with an amazing cover. This is a sci-fi action type book and he thought I might like it and it's true I probably would be into this so yeah if I can read both of them that would be great but I only have to read one for the challenge and prompt 24 the last prompt for the if you got it read it challenge is to read a five star prediction this time my predicted five star read is the lies of Locke Lamora I've heard such fantastic things about this series from so many people and I've been wanting to read it for years. That's also on my, been on my TBR the longest books. Things that I should have read a long time ago but didn't because they're really long. <laughs> so those are the books I chose for 2021 for the If You Got It Read It Challenge. Are you participating in this challenge as well? 
Did you finish all your books for 2020? If you like this video, you can hit like and subscribe, and I'll be back very soon with another book-related video. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.